The Walking Dead may soon become a part of your fun Sunday off when you're, uh, you know, just going to the, the amusement park for fun uh, because Universal Studios is adding it as a semi-permanent attraction to its park. Uh, let's take a look. Survive the Walking Dead attraction. <gasps> so, okay. Scary. Yeah. We've seen the Walking Dead before as uh, an attraction. Mm -hmm. It comes around around mm -hmm. Halloween for Universal Studios. It's a very big part of it. Uh, and at Comic Cons and around the nation as well, there's the Walking Dead experience, which we've done on this channel before. And this is supposed to be a step up, though. Greg Nicoteros is said to be working with the costumes and effects, and that is major because the one I had been to was mostly amateur. Mm. So this seems to be taking a step up in terms of professionalism, in terms of gore. Uh, it'll be around all the time. Can you go for Easter? Sure you can go for Easter. <laughs> Speaking of resurrection, uh, <laughs> no, I, I, think that, uh, I think that this is a, a true testament to the idea. I think last year was at Halloween Horror Nights, mm -hmm. um, this was their fifth, that was their fifth Walking Dead maze in a row. It's incredibly popular, um, both at the LA and um, Florida uh, uh, parks. Sure. And, um, and I think that you're seeing, you know, in addition to to Halloween Horror Nights, you're seeing these escape rooms sort of yes. pop up everywhere year round. And as a horror fan, I love that people are like really into this interactive experience, not just in the month of October, mm -hmm. but year round. And I think that's what you're seeing. And you know, The Walking Dead is a real and true phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And I think that there is absolutely an audience for it year round. Um, and so it makes sense that you get to go and do this immersive experience. And um, clearly too, they've tested it out over the last couple of years. So they know what works for their audience ah, and what doesn't. So do you think it'll be generally close to the mazes they've had for Halloween Horror Nights? I think it will incorporate a lot of that, a lot of those elements probably. Although, I mean, not to say that they're going to just take it and repurpose it. Who knows, maybe they will. But I would have to imagine that they're going to have to reinvent the special maze each Halloween because I mean, mm -hmm. well, that's a good question. Do you think that they will, that they'll keep doing a special Walking Dead maze? They have to, I mean, it's a cornerstone. It's a major part of the attractions. People like it, the show's still running. I think Universal is seeing a lot of success with using its franchises more, or its popular mm -hmm. movie franchises more. We see The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which I've been to, go check out that video we did. And it's, I think it's reinvigorating the park and adding this, you know, one of their most popular attractions for Halloween Horror Nights as a permanent attraction makes sense. I mean, we have The Walking Dead airing uh, weekly and not just around October, right. it's, it's a lot around a lot of the year. So it has a sort of sustainable element to it and a built-in audience. Absolutely, and uh, yeah, I think you're absolutely right. It will be interesting to see though, I mean, to have two Walking Dead activations mm -hmm. going at one time. But what's interesting about the Hollywood Park too, is that they, and that's where this is going yes. to be, is that they have to be strategic with their, with their space. Because unlike the Orlando Park, they actually make movies on the Universal <laughs> lot. So they actually need to make entertainment there. So the park is having to, you know, with the Wizard, Wizarding World of Harry Potter actually moving to um, to Hollywood, they had to tear down the Gibson Amphitheater in order to make that happen. Is that where it was? That is where was it was. I was wondering what was here before when I was there. It, I saw Shrek and I thought that doesn't need to be here. <laughs> but that was just my opinion. Yeah, it's it's the uh, it was the Gibson Amphitheater and for a lot of people who live in LA, you know, that was a huge thing mm -hmm. because that venue was incredibly popular with artists and with fans. So, you know, the fact that they chose to give up the music venue in order to put Harry Potter says a lot and I think they're clearly going to have to give up some other space in order to install The Walking Dead year round. So, you know, Universal's being very strategic with what they're doing. Knock down despicable me land please <laughs> and then put in the walking dead. <laughs> that, that would be I would actually That's love to children. see a mashup of the walking That'd dead. That'd be terrifying. And, oh my god. The be worst amazing. scariest iteration ever. Don't open minions inside. Oh my gosh. That'd the, be terrible. the walking despicables. I do love that ride though. The despicable me ride. I can't stand the minions. Well then this ride is not for you. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, it, it is interesting to think about like what they'd have to tear down. Waterworld is still there. Waterworld, show. you know, so I was just at the park for the Harry Potter as well, and uh, someone from Universal was telling me that Waterworld is one of their most uh, popular attractions. That's what I've heard. And then we saw, I was really sad to see uh, Back to the Future go. Yeah. The Terminator show was really good. It's gone now, too, to make room for Despicable Me. Uh, the House of Horrors. They did. They did yeah, actually they have a House that. of Horrors year round, and that was one of my favorite things. It was so cool, and they took that down. So yeah, et has gone. It just it hurts a little bit. It but does. I would. I like seeing this reinvigoration, and I like seeing incorporation of newer things. Because I mean, when you go on the tram, sometimes you see things from movies that were many and years gone, and now, maybe not leaving a cultural impact. And now when you go on the tram, it's Fast and Furious. I did go on that, it was... and it stalled in the room. No! It stalled between who was like, uh-oh, let's go on the chase out of this sexy party club. You know what I'm talking about. What? Well, that's disappointing, because when I went on the tram, it worked, and it was very cool. I was a fan of, yeah. the, of that. It's interesting. Well, a lot of homicide. Uh, audience, what do you think about going to a Walking Dead attraction year-round? Would you like to go in a maze? Would you like to go in an escape room? Would you like to be bitten by a real-life walker? Real dead walker, that is. Let us know below in the comments, won't you? And please help us out. Like and subscribe for more.